Stash is a popular financial technology company with a trusted investing app that helps people build a better life through investing. In the app, customers can invest in a wide variety of individual stocks, exchange-traded funds or ETFs, and bonds. Stash offers investment advice and education based on customers' financial goals, risk tolerance, and preferences in an approachable and easy to understand way. My name is Sue, and in this interview, we will be diving into Stash with its CEO and two people who know and use Stash, exploring the company's mission and values and getting insight from the CEO herself. So if you could just briefly state your name and your role here at Stash. Yeah, hi, I'm Liza Lanceman. I am the CEO here at Stash. So what is your role as CEO? Like our company is about eight years old and we're really here to help our customers invest in themselves so they can build a better life. And my job as a CEO is to make sure we never forget that vision and continue to support the millions of customers who have entrusted us to help them actually achieve their own dreams. Can you share with us how Stash is addressing challenges in financial inclusion and accessibility in the investment industry? Sure. Look, it's a really important question. I think for too long, many Americans have actually felt very excluded from this. Um, our mission here in Stash and the way we deliver it is pretty simple and straightforward. One, approachable products and language. Two, straightforward and transparent pricing. And three, helping people learn by doing. Um, we feel people are much better able to retain and actually get into good habits by having an experience rather than only through education and content. So how is Stash helping millions of people who feel stuck and they don't have the right tools to help them achieve their goals? Like our first step is helping them better understand what they do have and then providing the right tools, education, and services to help them get unstuck. So examples of that, um, we have a great debit card where just by your everyday spend, you can earn stock. Um, and it's a great way for many people who are early in their journey as investors to kind of learn the market and get the experience. Um, and we do this all for just a couple of dollars a month. So it takes away the scariness of big fees and sort of unknown expenses. Another example of how we help customers on this journey is through our smart portfolio, where customers are able to actually just decide how much they want to invest every month, and then we do the allocation for them, balanced against their risk profile and their desired outcomes. Stash has a unique approach to investing that focuses on education and advice. Can you explain how Stash's investment platform helps customers make informed investment decisions? We believe all customers can feel confident about investing, and so that's why we provide them with education and advice as part of that, but also things like either self-directed or stash-managed investing um, and retirement options, things like our stock back card, but we also do things like auto stash, which allows customers to just set up um, an ongoing recurring transfer so they can really just set it and forget it. And that's a great behavior and habit to form for a lifetime. So what is the long-term vision for Stash? Really the long-term vision for Stash is to provide answers for people, almost that sort of bright light they see ahead for the future so they can see money as a source of hope and optimism. So first off, what's yes. your name and how do you know Stash? Um, my name's Erin, and I am a Stash customer. Oh, awesome. Actually. Awesome. Yeah. So what first made you take interest in Stash? Uh, it seemed like it was time. You know, you get like to a certain point, you know, sort of professionally, and it seemed like it was time to, okay, started to make money. I have a, I'm a salaried employee. I should probably start saving. Oh, that's fantastic. So <laughs> Stash's diversity with like all exactly. of education and things like that really right. drew you in. They were talking about multiple diverse venues that they could help me. And I was like, all right, one-stop shopping, I'll go here. Awesome, awesome. So pairing off of that, like what are some of your investment goals that Stash is helping you with? Um, investment for sure. Uh, my sort of short term, like what I use Stash for, I guess most presciently is every year we go on vacation for our anniversary. 
and having the opportunity to just be able to set aside money. It's a good way to practice saving, but also investing at the same time. Awesome, awesome. So what kind of investments are you interested in? Um, ETFs, for sure. I think that those help me think of big picture things. Um, and sort of categories of investments. Mm -hmm. um, Broad spectrum. Broad, kind of exactly, yep. exactly. It's a bit more understandable, I think, for somebody who's not deeply in, you know, daily stock trader, things like that. I'm never gonna be that person. And so what are your long-term financial goals? They started offering a retirement program. So I actually have my Roth IRA with Stash. Because okay. that's, yeah, I can, you know, whatever the, um, especially as, as we've discussed, especially when you're younger, having the ability to put that money away specifically stash explained why a roth yeah, is much better for people tax-free exactly and when you get it at the end yeah so those are my long-term goals is retiring because uh <laughs> i don't know that i don't know that a lot of the sort of old standbys that a lot of people you know my parents my grandparents explain to you when you're young this is what the way you do it yeah i think that people my age are having to sort of understand the way the world is growing and investing in that, uh, with that understanding. So what's your name and what is your role? My name is Jude Bernard. I am the founder and the executive director of the Brooklyn Bank, a nonprofit organization based in Bedford-Stuyvesant. We focus on financial literacy and economic empowerment for people of color. Wow, that's fantastic. So what are some of the challenges that people face in regards to their finances? Currently, in these in these times, these challenging times, I would have to say market volatility, rising interest rates. I'd have to also speak about um, inflation, um, access to information, financial literacy, and things of that nature. So, what needs to change for people to feel more confident about money? They need a change in mindset. You know, so you have to change your thinking from a place of scarcity to a place of abundance to know that the the there is an infinite amount of money out there and you will have access to it once you um, change some of your habits whether it it is improving your credit um, budgeting making better decisions investing you know these are the things that will take you from that panic mode and then um, give you that sense of security and then you are able to make better decisions and it, it will affect you in, in the long run and it will improve um, due to just your, your lifestyle and the way that you're moving. Great, so now how can technology help with that shift? Well, technology makes it a, makes it a whole lot easier than what we had, you know, couple of decades ago, you know, at, in just a fingertip, you have access to information that will help you invest, that will help you um, research, that will help you analyze, help you make better decisions. Because without the information, you basically are guessing and gambling. Yeah. Knowledge yeah. is the key to growing wealth. Yes, absolutely. You have uh, worked with Stash. Now, what makes them stand out as a company? The fact that they actually really care, you know, um, that they have a vested interest in education, teaching people about their credit, delayed gratification, all these things that make the difference between the haves and the have-nots, these little small, these little small things that separate um, those who will, you know, be profitable in the long run and those that won't. And their education piece, you know, talked a lot about, you know, people coming from scarcity and the knowledge that'll help them be, feel better about their finances. Exactly, exactly. So it gives them a sense of security to know that they're on the right track and that they don't have to figure it all out by themselves, that there's a credible source there to help guide them along their financial journey. <laughs>